everybody, it's Donna, your homegrown gourmet. Well, as you can see in the background, it's completely dark behind me. I have, don't have any power, and I was in the middle of showing you a recipe, but I'm going to go ahead anyway um, with it. So let's get started. I'm making my fig newtons. I picked figs yesterday and today, and I washed them, put them in boiling water for five minutes and then spread them out on a cookie sheet and then I bake them in the oven for 300 degrees for about an hour and a half and then I turn the oven down a little bit and then bake them a little bit longer so they would get partially dehydrated. So they're soft uh, but not wet. So that's the kind of consistency we want because I don't want my filling to be oozing out of the cookie. So I have two cups I'm going to start my dough. I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. I added two teaspoons of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. I also have a third of a cup of sugar I'm going to put in there. This is a sweet dough, and that's what makes these cookies so good. And then I have um, a quarter cup butter that's been softened. I'm going to go ahead and add my softened butter. I use a fork to start with, but then I'm going to go ahead and switch to my hands. So we just want to mix that butter in with the flour. Get it nice and incorporated. Then I'll make a well and I'll add my wet ingredients and make a dough. Okay. So I have one egg and all my ingredients are room temperature. I don't have real buttermilk, so what I did was I took a little bit of lemon juice and added it to my half and half. And it's a little bit curdled now, you can see that. So I'm going to start with about well, let's go to two tablespoons. I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla to that. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm mixing it all the wet ingredients together because it just helps incorporate it easier. There's half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'll just uh, mix this up to get the egg beaten. I'm going to create a little well in my flour mixture. Dump that in there. Until it forms a nice dough. I may need more buttermilk or more flour. It just depends on, uh, it's kind of humid out today, so I'm thinking I might might need more flour. And this is a real soft kind of dough. Is there sugar in it? It's similar to a, a pie crust, but it's really not a pie crust. It's like a sweet, sweet dough. Yeah, see, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Okay, I'm gonna get just a little more flour. <clears throat> I have something in the oven. <laughs> Too bad for me, huh? Okay. I guess dinner is going to be pretty late today. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's a nice soft dough, like I said. What I'm going to do is separate this, and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it rest 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll roll it out and uh, make our Fig Newtons. Okay, so my dough was in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. And it's uh, pliable, some saran wrap on top of my surface. I want to make about a five inch wide and about maybe 12, 14 inches long rectangle. So we're going to start with some flour and I'll try to get this. It's pretty warm here today so we're going to need a little bit of flour on here but we're going to try to keep it 
at about five inches wide and see how long we can make it. Just a little bit of flour. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our filling right in the middle and we're going to roll it over and create uh, some cookies. All right, that is a good whiff right now. There we go. Okay, perfect. And now just to even it off, I'm just going to kind of straighten it up a little bit. Let's see what has to come more over here. All right, very good. Okay, because we want it perfect. And one cup of my cooked figs. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar to that, and then I'll mix it with my hands, and I want to squish it so it is all incorporated and a nice thick paste. And then that way, when we fold over the dough, it won't leak. I also added uh, a, the juice of about a quarter of a lemon because I think lemon brings out the flavor. So we're gonna use about half of this and we're gonna spread it right down the center. There we go. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. I'm gonna take our saran wrap I'm going to take this and we're going to lift it up and we're going to fold this dough completely over to the other end. There we go. Okay. Look, carefully pull it off and then I have to seal this. Make sure it's completely sealed. We don't want any leaks. This side, saran wrap, roll it over a little bit, okay. There we go, look at that, nice. Okay. Okay, now the last thing I wanna do is I wanna fold it over one more time so that the seam is totally on the bottom. There we go. There we go, perfect. See that? So it is a very warm day here. So hopefully we can get this done. I'm going to grab a, my cookie sheet. I'm gonna cover it with some parchment paper. Oven at 350, get a nice sharp knife. And I may need to dip it in a little bit of flour here and there to get a good cut. Okay, oh dear. Okay, if we make a mess, we'll just push it together. Ooh, there we go, look at that. That's nice. You get a little seepage, just push it together. Just so. This dough is really super soft. I wish I could pick this up. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick it up and put it in the fridge and let it chill for a minute. That would be the best thing to do. So we're gonna chill that for about 10 minutes. It'll be easier to cut. So I chilled the dough for a little bit. We can make better, easier cuts that way. So now I'm just going to cut it. Bake it, 350. And we'll check it after 10 minutes and maybe go up to 15, depending on, on how it looks. You can see how I got a little seepage right there. I'm going to push that right back in there. Okay, in the oven it goes. I had my cookies in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. 
I wasn't quite happy with how they were cooking, so I increased the temperature to 375, added another 10 minutes, and now they're nice and golden. They have cooled completely, and as you can see, none of the filling uh, oozed Take out. Take a look at the bottom, it's nice and brown. Ah, they smell delicious. So that's my recipe for Fig Newtons. You could also use a different filling. You could try this with a blueberry or even apple. Strawberry is nice. All you have to do is just cook your fruit down enough so that it's nice and thick puree. I'm going to include the full recipe in my description below. And give me a like on my YouTube channel, Gourmet or Good Enough. Thanks for watching. Ciao.